Hey guys, so in this video, we're going to talk about trigonometric functions and the certain values they take for a given value of theta. What do I mean by that? For example, let's start over here. And what we have over here is a unit circle. And we know that the x-coordinate of any point in the unit circle is cosine of theta and the y-coordinate is sine of theta in terms of the angle theta that is subtended from the positive x-axis. Now, if you look at this angle theta over here, the way I've shown you, what we have is we have an angle theta over here that is between that is between 0 degrees and 90 degrees since it's in the so theta over here is an acute angle and the value of theta is between 0 and 90 degrees or we can say that it's between 0 and pi over 2 radians now this if we divide this cartesian coordinate system so the x and y coordinate system into four quadrants or into four equal parts we say that the first quadrant is where theta is between 0 and 90 degrees and in the first quadrant we can see that the cosine of theta, that is the value of the x-coordinate, is a positive value. So we can say over here that the cosine of theta in the first quadrant, so if theta is in the first quadrant, we can say that the cosine of theta is positive. We can also see over here that the sine of theta, which is the y-coordinate of this point on the unit circle, is also a positive value. And the tan of theta over here, that is the ratio between the y-coordinate and the x-coordinate, so sine theta over cosine theta is also a positive value since a positive number divided by a positive number gives you a positive value over here. Now let's say that instead of having theta between 0 and 90 degrees or between 0 and pi over 2 radians, what we have is we have an angle theta over here that's between z between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. So this angle over here is, is between 90 degrees or 100 and 180 degrees or we can say it's between pi over 2 and pi radians. Now what we see is that the x-coordinate of the point on the unit circle is negative since this point is to the left of the y-axis, but the y-coordinate is still positive. So we can say that cosine of theta for any angle theta in the second quadrant is negative, the sine of theta is positive, and the tan of theta, which is the sine of theta divided by the cosine of theta, so that's a positive number divided by a negative number, is also negative. Next, if theta was in the third quadrant, in other words, we had an angle theta that's between 180 and 270 degrees, or we can say between pi radians and 3 pi over 2 radians, we can see over here that the x-coordinate is negative of the point on the unit circle, and the y-coordinate, which is sine of theta, is also negative. So what we have over here is that the cosine of theta is negative, the sine of theta is negative, but, but the tan of theta, which is the sine of theta divided by the cosine of theta, that's just a negative number divided by a negative number, is equal to, is a positive value, or takes on a positive value. And lastly, if theta was in the fourth quadrant, so in other words, it was between 270 and 360 degrees, it was between 270 and 360 degrees, or we can say between 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi radians, over here, what we see is that the x-coordinate of this point on the unit circle, that's the cosine of theta, is positive. Again, since it's to the right of the y-axis. The sine of theta, or the y-coordinate, is negative, since it's below the x-axis. So here we have, over here what we have is we can say that the cosine of theta is equal to a positive value. The sine of theta is equal to a negative value, and therefore the tan of theta, which is the sine of theta divided by the cosine of theta, that is a negative number divided by a positive number, we can say that the tan of theta is ha takes on a negative value when theta is in the fourth quadrant. So what we can see over here is that in the first quadrant, when the value of the angle theta is between 0 degrees and 90 degrees, or between 0 and pi over 2 radians, all three of these trigonometric functions take on a positive value. If theta is in the second quadrant, between 90 and 180 degrees, or between pi over 2 and pi radians, we can see that only sine of theta is positive, whereas the other two, cosine and tan of theta, are negative. In the third quadrant, when theta is between 180 and 270 degrees, or between pi, or pi radians and three, 3 pi over 2 radians, then only the tan of theta is positive, whereas the cosine and sine are negative. And if theta, if theta is in the fourth quadrant, in other words, we have an angle theta between 270 or 360 degrees, or between 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi radians, we can see over here 
that only the cosine of theta takes on a positive value, whereas the sine of theta and the tan of theta take on negative values. A simple way to remember this, a simple way to remember this over here is by using the following mnemonic. We can use the mnemonic all science teachers, all science teachers are crazy. All science teachers are crazy. If we use this mnemonic over here, what we can see over here is that in the first quadrant, we can see in the first quadrant, all the trigonometric functions take on a positive value. In the second quadrant over here, only the sine function takes on a positive value. Only the sine function takes on a positive value. In the third quadrant, so that's the word teachers over here, starts with T. So we can see that only the tan function or the ta tan of theta takes on a positive value. And then over here, what we have is the word crazy starts with the C. So we can say, we can say over here that in the fourth quadrant, only the cosine function takes on a positive value. Hey there, if you like what you saw right now, head over to altacademy.org for access to content around six subjects with past papers, videos, revision guides, flashcards, and academic support. All of this is gonna make sure that you're completely set for your A-levels. So I'll see you there on the platform.